Oh, I'm nervous about this. Because if this works, push too. As we have the sky all washed by the moon and all those uh, atmospheric obstacles that we have tonight, it's hard for me and for anybody to watch the stars. I can see only the brightest stars. That means that will be hard to point to any object in the sky. I will have to rely on the push to from SharpCap software, which some of you know, it's the software I use to capture the images of the deep sky. But the push to was not working in the last live streams. I had to do it manually. It doesn't matter if I have to do it. I will do it again. I like to start hope. But I think I did something to, to the software and to my computer that I think I can make it work. I don't know yet because the sky has been awful, but we will check that tonight. If I succeed in that challenge of the Sharp Cap uh, Push 2 feature, I will do a dedicated live stream just for members to explain because it's a bit technical, the trick to explain how to fix it. And nobody, I, w I want nobody to fail to use the Push 2 in Sharp Cap. So this is the 8 inch that is outside in real time so you can watch me start hoping it is pointing more or less to the position of the moon right now which is uh, more or less at 90, 96 97 percent of brightness which means it's almost full moon so first the camera okay Now I will lock the cable to the rocker with a strap, a small strap that I have to release pressure to the camera. This. See? That way the cable will not push with the gravity down and now I will reset the platform and connect it. And now I will point to a bright star to focus. Now I can connect the camera. Now it's almost focused. Almost. You see the spikes here? Double spikes. We have to adjust this. Just a tweak. Cygnus Constellation. Let's see if I can do it. I will be doing now the traditional Hoping, hoping. I'm hoping, of course. This is a star of the nebula for sure. I think I can see the some filaments here. In just one quick movement, I could um, point directly to the, the nebula. So, oh, I'm nervous about this, because if this works, 
Push to. It's the veil. Which is broom is the west. Start. Come on, please work. Please, please, please. You can do it, please. Yes. Yes, I did it. I know the answer. Guys, I know the answer. From now on, from today, from tonight, I promise you, nobody here with an equatorial platform will miss this feature. I discovered it. I know how to turn around the, the problems and just tell me on Discord if you need it or here or anywhere in the channel. And the next live stream will be to show you it's not complicated, it's just some tweaks that you have to do to let this feature work. Look how fast it worked. I'm amazed. This is a game changer. This push to feature of Sharp Cap, it's a game changer and you will benefit from it as I will in these live streams. Well, and also alone. I nailed it. I knew it. I knew it. I discovered it. I'm so happy. So now he's, he's saying that I'm almost there. It's yellow. This is a feature for the people that don't know. It's a feature that we just point more or less to the area of the object. One hint. You don't need to point directly to the object. You don't need to point near the object. But if you can point near the object, it will play solve faster. So always point near the object. Not only because it will solve faster, go deeply inside it, but also because it will improve your technique, your knowledge and your skills in watching the sky, pointing with a telescope, basically star hopping. And that's very important to do the star hopping, because if everything fails and it's only the sky, you and your telescope, your Dobsonian will not let you down. You have already the knowledge, so you just have to start hope. Especially if you go out with the Art Obsonian to a darker site. I'm so happy with this. I'm very excited. I will just center it. I will just... This keeps split solving and I, I'm, I'm talking but I'm watching to the, the screen. And notice that this green is keeps split solving. And green. Green, 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 green. It means that solving and solving again. Green. You see this bar? It's yellow, it's solving. This bar, this horizontal bar at the top. Green, it's solved again. So that means that when I now move the telescope to the position it says here, left a bit and down another bit, just a bit, 0 0.34, 0 0.27 degrees, so I just have to move and it will keep plate solving and retrieving the position in the sky. If I move it at the wrong direction for some reason, it will tell here the distance will increase, of course, to the object. And these colors, Robin, the founder, had this detail. These colors will turn red if we get apart from the object but we if we get closer as we will be right now that I go outside you will see this yellow will turn green like this here this is almost green here in the declination we are better in declination which means up and down declination up and down and the right ascension is not so well centered according to sharp cap well, you can see it here because the nebula is here. I know it. I know this star very well. Just a soft touch with a finger. With this finger. Oh. Just a bit. You see this screen again? Amazing, amazing. Now I will close it. So this is the witch's broom. 